For nearly a century, an often overlooked park has quietly occupied a piece of prime real estate downtown. Now, as Mike Shue reports, the city has big plans for that space. When it was built in the Roaring Twenties, it was known as the Sunken Gardens. Sunken because it's built into a hill with its west wall holding up St. Paul Place. A series of signature curving limestone stairs and cross streets punctuate its long, skinny rectangular length, bisecting St. Paul Street near the courthouses. This space was conceived by renowned American park designer Frederick Olmsted Law. Though the styles of automobiles have changed and buildings have grown bigger, Otherwise, Preston Gardens, though, hasn't changed much. Until now, the historic parts are being preserved, but as these renderings show, the land around it is being reshaped, in part because more true parkland is needed, as now thousands more people live downtown, having moved into renovated buildings that used to be only used for offices. And with the residents moving around, we needed to have a quality space, a quality public space. Here's how it will look. What was open space is now given purpose, places for people to sit, picnic, and gather for music. In essence, it's being remade from a glorified traffic median strip to a true park, a place where the mayor says she'll go before visiting her doctors across the street at Mercy. I'm looking forward to, to coming here and calming my nerves. Maybe it'll help my blood pressure and everything else uh, before I go to my annual physical. The major work here is expected to begin soon. Mike Shue, WJZ Eyewitness News. The $7 million cost of this renovation will be paid by the city, state, and federal dollars, as well as the Downtown Partnership and Mercy Medical Center.